Good afternoon, fellow viewers. Today, we want to start with the strands and the substance in basic seven, that is form one. So, substance one is numbers. Strand one is numbers. Such strand one is number and numeration system. Now, on our next numeration system, we want to talk about modeling number quantities using a multi-base material. So, these are the multi-base materials that we are going to use to model any number quantity. Good. Now the name given to this one is blog. We call it blog. And we call this one long. And we give this one a name flat. Now this multi-base material is saying that this block, one is 10,000. And one long is 100,000. One flat represents one million. Good. So if one block is giving me 10,000, then three blocks, three of this is going to give me 30,000. If one of these, which is the long, is giving me 100,000, then four of this will give me what? 400,000. That is the modeling. So let's look at how we can model a given quantity or a given number quantity using this multi-base material. Let's say we have to model 3,320,000. We are using the multi-base materials. How can I use these multi-base materials to model this quantity? Before you can do that, you have to first expand this number. If I'm to expand this, I'm going to get if I'm to expand, I'm going to get 3 million plus 300,000 plus 220,000. If I'm to expand this number, I'm going to get 3 million plus 300,000 plus 20,000. Now you can see clearly from the picture that this 3 million goes with this and this 300 goes with the 100 and the 20,000 goes with the 10,000 so you will give the medians to the flat the 100,000 to the long and the 20,000 to the blow so let's ask ourselves this question if one flat is giving us 1 million then how many flats will give us 3 million? 3 blocks, sorry, 3 flats. So I'll therefore draw 3 flats, which represents 3 million. This way, that way. So 1 is 1 million. So 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, which is this. Then the Lord is also saying that one of it is 100,000. And we have 300,000 here. So if one is giving me 100,000, the three will give me the 300,000. So I will draw three longs. Three longs. Then I'm left with a block. One block is giving me 10,000. If one block is giving me 10,000, then how many blocks will give me 20,000? Two blocks. So I'll just draw my two blocks representing 20,000. So this is 3 million plus 300,000 plus 20,000. Putting this together gives me 3 million 320,000. Now let's look at example two. You are to model 4 million 240,000 using the base material. If you are being asked to model this amount, 
using the motivate material. What are the motivate material? The motivate materials are this: one log, ten thousand; one log, hundred thousand; one flat, one million. So these are the motivate materials that I'm to use to model this amount. What should I do? The first thing you should do is to expand. So I'm going to expand four million. 240,000. So expanding will give me 4 million plus 200,000 plus 40,000. This is what I'll get after expanding. So 4 million, 200,000, 40,000. This million goes with a million here, which is one flat. This hundred thousand goes with a long here, which is one hundred thousand. And this forty thousand goes with the block. So if one flat is giving me one million, then how many flats will give me four million? Four. So I'll just draw four flats representing four million. Nicely. So this is 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, 4 million, which is this. Then 100,000 represents one long. So this will give me two longs because one is 100 million. So I am modeling this amount using this multi-base materials. Then the 40,000 here is for the block. One block give me 10 million, will give me 10,000, sorry. One block give me 10,000. So four blocks are going to give me 40,000. So I'll just draw my four blocks nicely this way. And this is how we model quantities using the one space material. Now let's look at how to model a given amount using tokens. How to or modeling modeling amount using tokens. Now these tokens, what are tokens? Somebody will say the tokens are the money you put together to get one amount. If you are going to buy an item which costs 20 cities. That 20 cities, I can have 10 cities, 2. 2 10 cities will give me 20 cities. 4 5 cities will give me 20 cities. Or I can say 1 10 city and 2 5 cities will give me 20 cities. So how can I use a token or using a token to model a given amount? Let's say we have to model the amount 1 million Ghana cities. You have to model 1 million Ghana cities using the token, using the token 200 cities. Model 1 million Ghana cities using the token 200 Ghana cities. The meaning of this question is. How many 200 token notes will make or will give you 1 million? This is the problem. This is the web problem that you have to verify. It says, how many 200 cities token notes will give you 1 million? If you want to know the number of 200 cities token notes, how to model this amount? Divide the amount by the token. So I'm going to divide 1 million by 200. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros at the top, 2 zeros at the bottom. So these 2 zeros will not 2 zeros. And I'm left with 1, then 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm left with 4 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. Divided by 
two. Because here, yeah, two zeros have been cancelled. Then I ask myself, can two go into 10,000? Yes. How? Covering the two zeros will give me 10. So I ask myself, two will go into 10 how many times? Two will go into itself one, and two will go into this one five times. So this gives me 500 times 5,000 over one. And we said that if a number is over one, that means the number is the whole number. So I'm going to get my final answer as 5,000. So this answer means that 200 cities talking notes, 5,000 will give me 1 million Ghana cities. So I'm going to say, therefore, So I'll conclude by saying, therefore, 100 cities talking notes, 18,500 will make the amount 1,850,000 cities. So this is how you use one token to model a given amount. Let's look at the last question. How to use two tokens to model one amount. Let's say I've been given model the Ghana CD or model 2,350,000 Ghana CDs. Using 200 and 100 CD token notes. You see, the difference between this one and this one is the token here is one, but here the tokens you have to give him two tokens 200 and 100. And you have to use the 200 and 100 to model this amount. So what should or what do I have to do? How can I use two tokens to model one amount? If you are coming to use two tokens to model one amount, what you are going to do is to expand, expand the given amount. The amount that you have been given is 2,850,000. 
350000. If I'm to expand this, I'm going to get 2 million plus 350,000 plus 50,000. I have expanded successfully. Sorry, 300,000. Good. Now, when I expanded, I had three times. But how many tokens was I given? I was given two tokens. So I have to group this expansion into two terms. So I'll say add these two terms. And this will give me 2 million plus this and this will give me 350,000. Now, you will see that at the end of the day, I have been able to expand this number into two terms. This and this. Now I will say that let the 200 take this and let the 100 take this amount. So I'm going to say 2 million divided by the token 200 and 350,000 should also take the token 100. So two zeros will cancel two zeros. Here two, two zeros will cancel two zeros. Here, I can say two year one, two year also one. Leaving one, one, two, three, four zeros. One, two, three, four. That is 10,000. Then here two, I'll be left with 3500. Zero, zero. So I can say that 200 will go into this number, 10,000. 100 will go into this number, 3,500. That means, if you are using 200 and 100 to model, we are going to say that 200 cities notes, 10,000. 100 cities notes, 300 and 3,500 will make this amount. So I'll commit by saying, therefore, 200 cities token notes, 10,000. And... 100 CDs token notes 3,500 will make the amount given Ghana CDs 2,3,5,0,0,0,0 So this is how you model an amount with two tokens. An amount with one token. This is how it has been done. And if you are modeling using a multi-base material, this is how you do it. Thank you for staying tuned. This is Easy Mathematics. God bless you. And still see you, God willing, next week for the same stand and at the next topic. Bye-bye.